What's going on everyone? We are back today with another vlog video. Uh, today we are heading for Duke's Golf Club. We're playing 18 holes. It is semi-competitive. Uh, and what I mean by that is it's a society uh, around the golf. So scorecard will be in the pocket. Uh, there'll be no messing around really. Obviously I'm not taking the round too serious. Uh, but we will be playing by the strict rules of golf and uh, let's see what we can shoot. So uh, let's get into it. How's it going everyone? Thank you for joining in today. We're on the first hole, par 4, 341 yards, 3 iron is the club. Second shot here on the first hole, we've got 145 to the pin. Pin was at the back right and the shot I was trying to play was a, a high fade into that back pin. So as you can see after coming up a little bit short, we're below the hole at 35 feet. Uh, just making sure we get this one all the way there. First putt of the day, pretty happy with that. I uh, left myself with a tapping par. On to the second hole, level par. Sorry about being blocked out there, it's the only time that happened. We hit three wood out the back of the green. We have an up and down for birdie here. So left here with a tricky chip. Tried to fly this one uh, a lot of the way there, but it just released on me. Uh, so we're back up the hill with a, a nine footer for birdie. Uh, pretty straightforward pod, it was just on the left edge. But as you can see, I over, I pushed that one a little bit past the hole and tapped in my par. Moving on to hole three here, three wood in hand, 342 yard hole. Leaked the tee shot well right, uh, left at 146 to the flag, and we're still sitting at level par. So not a great result here from that second shot, although the lie was quite tough where I was, and leave, left myself here in a pretty tricky spot coming across the green. So at that point I was very pleased with that chip, only left myself a couple of feet to tap in my par. On hole 4 here I forgot to press record, my apologies, but I hit a 7 iron to the back edge of the green and here we are with the putt. So I left myself a little bit too much to do there, missed the putt and we're gone for a bogey and gone to 1 over par. Moving on to hole 5, we got a 406 yard par 4 and we're 1 over par. So hit a very long tee shot here but unfortunately left it well out to the right. Now I wasn't in a bad spot by any means, the rough was okay and with 104 yards to the pin. Coming up a little short of the green on this occasion and left myself with a really tricky uh, pitch shot. You can see the spine going across the front of the pin. Felt I hit a really good pitch shot there but it just didn't catch the down slope and I was left with this 15 footer for par. I failed to convert on this occasion and we're going to plus two. Okay, so par five coming up, chance to make up for the last two bogeys. Hit a really solid drive down here. Very pleased with this second shot as well and give myself an eagle chance. Outside chance for eagle here. I was really just making sure I guaranteed the birdie and got myself back to plus one oh, 
and thankfully was able to convert and we're back to level par. Three iron in hand here on the seventh hole. One four nine to the pin. A uh, good chance to knock one in tight here. Really disappointed with that putt, and other than the eagle putt I've got, um, I failed to convert any putts thus far. Disappointing iron shot there, leaving myself with a lot of work to do for par. A really solid putt there, very happy with my pace putting so far from long distance and we have a tap in par left. Par 5 again, birdie in mind, let's go. Another really solid drive here, very pleased, uh, set myself up with a good chance to convert birdie, 212 yards to the flag. Ball was slightly above my feet here, three iron was the club of choice and I just overcompensated and ended up coming up a little bit short and right at the green, tough chip here coming up. Again, hit a really solid chip here, but it just got away from me through the spine at a green, but still have a decent chance for birdie. And at this point, I'm getting pretty fed up with all the missed putts, uh, but on we go. So there you have the first nine holes of the Dukes Golf Club vlog. Uh, back nine is certainly to follow. Just a very quick debrief on that round. Uh, felt I played pretty solid, hit the ball pretty good. I think I missed two greens in the, in the nine holes, so seven greens in regulation. Um, on three of those occasions, proximity to the hole was you know, quite large. So again, just something definitely to work on. So you could say, oh yeah, I only missed two greens, but I probably hit five shots out of nine where you know the result should have been a little bit better. Obviously, we have to leave a little bit room for error there as well. Uh, on three occasions where I hit the green and I was a good bit away from the hole, my pace bottom was quite strong and left myself with tapping pars. But on one occasion I left myself, I think it was about six feet on the fourth and I missed that. Following on from that then I feel, you know, missed a lot of putts. So that six footer obviously on four and there was probably three birdie putts. You know, you'd be looking to maybe hold 50% of those um, and that would have me under par. But overall pretty happy. And um, with that round, back nine is to follow. But what we're going to do in an effort to try to grow this YouTube channel, if you're watching this video today, please hit the subscribe button and, and like this video. Once I get to 150 subscribers, which is 25 more, I'm going to release the back nine in Duke's Golf Club, and we'll see you then.